What is up, party people? My name is Daryl, and today we're going to be talking about how you can make a cost estimation form on your WordPress website. You ever talk to clients and they were kind of wanting to know a ballpark price, but you can never really give them the details because every site is kind of dynamic? Well, there's a plugin that can actually help you answer these questions on your website. So for example, this is this is my website. My This is my web design business, all right? And right here, if I click on get a quote right here, it'll take my visitors to this page. And right here, it says how much to make it. Now, of course, you can change this to any sort of text you want, any kind of color, any sort of font. This is just how it works, okay? So right here, I'll click on, all right, get started. You know, I, I want a website. I want a website. I need a ballpark price. And right here, I just put mobile or website. You know, basically saying app or website. So right here, I'll say, all right, I want a website. And I'll click on next step. Now, right here, it says, okay, what features? And here, the, the user can actually select different features like e-commerce, blog, uh, you know, analytics. It's just, you know, this is, a, it's all just for demo, you know. But right here, I'll just put, uh, I want an e-commerce website. Okay, the price is going up now. Here, I'll click on next step. Let's see what else they're going to ask me. So let's talk about design. Well, do we want a mobile? Do we want a desktop? Or do we want a responsive? So I'm going to say, you know what? Give me... Give me just the desktop. I just want the desktop right here. So right here, I selected just the desktop. Um, do I want retina supports? Sure, why not? Okay, the price is going up a little bit. Here, I'll click on next step. And of course, the retina support, I mean, it could be anything, guys. It can be like, uh, I don't know, whatever add-on you want to add. You know, it doesn't have to be what I put, you know. Uh, what kind of content management system is out there that you want to add on this website? Now, of course, you would never, ever ask anyone this on your on your on your form this is what this is what we as designers uh this is what we use this is our choice but obviously we're going to use the number one wordpress all right so around 950 bucks okay it's getting up there the last details here we go delivered in less than 30 days mm, yeah i want the site now you know i want it right now do i want this to be seo friendly yes i want that too have you a dog at home Yes, I do. Oh, I get a discount. I get a discount for having a dog. How cool is that? Well, here I'll click on next step and now I'm ready. I'm ready to get a website. Let's see the final cost here. The final cost is $1,400 right here. I can enter in my email and I can actually pay you right now for this specific service with PayPal or Stripe or we have the option just to send an email to us. So we don't have to take payments. We can if we want to, but I'll show you how you can include this on your WordPress website. And I think everyone out there in the web design business should have this because it gives people a ballpark price. You know, it gives them it gives them an, an idea. Cause some some companies are, you know, maybe two, three thousand dollars. Other companies are ten, twenty thousand dollars. It just depends on it just I don't know. Some companies charge very little, some companies charge a lot. So you want to be those companies that you want to be those companies that, that charge a lot, all right? We want to make money, you know, we're all here to make money, damn it. And this form is actually very simple to understand. So here you can kind of see this is the first question and I've connected it with this right here. And basically this connects with this, this connects with this, and this connects with this and so on and so forth. Now also right here, you can kind of see that if they chose another option, it'll lead them to another way. So, and remember we can change the color, we can change the font, we can change the size, we, you can change everything in this form. And also there's other options right here. So. Now, when they say text, that doesn't mean mobile SMS text. That actually means the text on what you want them to say, like, okay, next page, et cetera. Um, the email right here, uh, last step, payment gateways. So we have PayPal and Stripe included. Summary, you can have different options here. Discount coupons, ooh, that's a good one. You can even offer discount codes for your visitors, which is pretty cool. GDPR ready, is this, is this Europe communist ready? <laughs> <laughs> no, I we can make it uh, we can make it Europe uh, as a communist ready if we want to. Uh, here, design, and you can change the color and everything. It's a joke, you know. But G Europe is pretty crazy with all this GDPR globalism stuff. Where uh, they're crazy over there. I mean, they want to. Uh, YouTube is like gonna ban them soon if they don't get their act together. They're trying to pass an Article 13, which like basically says like people can't upload anything that has anything in it because they don't own that piece of content, which makes no sense because that means I'm I I, I would I'm wearing this shirt right here and I don't own YouTube, so I the content would be blocked in Europe. So 
Uh, for you guys in Europe, I, I'm really sorry about your government, but you know, California's is not any better. Anyways, so uh, the plugin that we are using in this video is going to be the WP Cost Estimation and Payment Forms Builder. Now there is a link below to purchase this. Uh, if you do decide to purchase it, if you're already a customer, I don't make any money, so it's all good. You know, I'm just doing this just to help you guys out, right? And the plugin's only $28. It's very cheap. So uh, in this video, I'm going to kind of go over on how to use it and everything so you can actually add this to your WordPress website. And make sure to give them a nice review. You know, where, where, they, where are they based at? Where are you guys? Is this, is this France? France? Oh, good job, guys. You guys won the World Cup this year. You guys got that new player, that one black guy. He's really fast. The, I forgot his name. The forward. Jeez, that guy is good. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about how to use this plugin. So again, once you go ahead and download it, you purchase it and everything like that, um, you'll go ahead and uh, you know you'll download it and upload it to your website. Now I'm gonna go over here, or actually I'm gonna go over here. Oh, let's go over here. So the actual plugin right here is the ENP form builder. Now you'll know you'll need to go ahead and upload this to your WordPress website, and right here click on form builder. Now the first thing that you'll see when you get to this this form is these are basically demos. So all of these right here are demo examples that they have created, basically like templates for you. All right, so we have an estimation form, a subscription demo, we have a distance calculation, all sorts of really cool you know forms, and we will be making our own form in this video to kind of help you understand the options. But let's just go ahead and review the first one right here. So right here, I'll click on edit this form. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of run you through the process of how these people actually made this demo to kind of help you understand how you can apply it to your WordPress website. So right here we have uh, mobile, we have mobile or website. And right here we have the estimation form, the title right here. There's various options right here. So this is basically just saying, you know, what kind of currency do you want to show it in, uh, the maximum price. So this would be like the, 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 the price cannot exceed this amount, but you don't have to use that because this is just for this is just for my sales pitches. So basically saying that if you do offer four thousand dollars, you don't want people to see that. So it'll say, yeah, just four thousand the most, and we can sell them over the phone, you know. But you don't have to put anything there. Uh, right here, we can hide the uh, the initial progress bar, which is the progress bar. But I feel that people should have this because it lets people know um, how far they are to finish. Uh, right here, we have text. So right here would be like the, um, you know, just the general text of what you want to talk about. Now, probably the most important part is this right here, the introduction title. So how much to make it. So maybe something like how much to make my website. How much to make my website. And then right here, you have all the options. And this is basically where you're going to um, change the text if you decide to edit it or not um, and everything else. So I'm going to click on save really quickly. And then remember, these right here, guys, are just the general options. Okay, so these right here basically control the entire form. So all these options right here are separate from this right here. Okay, so this right here, if you want to edit it, you click on this pencil, it would edit it. Okay, so right now we're just kind of covering just the actual basics of this form. So let me go back over there really quickly. All right, so right here we have last step. And then, you know, you have various options right here. All right. Payment gateways, if you want to go ahead and add in your payment gateway right here, you click on yes, and then you would add in your PayPal email right there. Also for Stripe, this is where you're going to enter in your publishable and secret API key. If you don't know where that is, if you go to your Stripe account and go to developers, it's going to be API. Make sure you grab the live. No, don't grab the test because the live is actually when that allows payments. Uh, summary right here. This will basically just kind of cover different stuff like, you know, these are just various options like, you know, hide the total row hide the decimals, a lot of useless <laughs> options, to be honest. I mean, why would you offer that? Here you can use discount codes. So right here you can offer a discount code as well. You can add a new coupon, uh, add a coupon price, the deduction price. So this right here is basically saying this is a dollar amount or a percentage. So if you want to offer 10% off, you can do that. If you want to add like $50 off, you would enter that there. How many times can it be used, et cetera, okay? So that's it, you know, a quick rundown of coupons. I'm sure you all you know how to use WooCommerce and everything, so it's pretty simple. Uh, GDPR. I don't live in Europe. I don't got. I don't got to worry about that. I don't got to worry about all that stuff. You know. <laughs> no, actually, I think we do. I, I think we, we we do have to worry about it as well. So uh, also right here, if you want to change the main color of it, these are basically the general design settings, and we can also kind of have these same options a little bit later in when we design the actual uh, the form. But this is where you can go ahead and change the colors and the fonts and everything else. So, all right. 
Now right here, we have this little bubble right here. And whenever you want to add a bubble, just click on add a step. And what that's going to do is that it's going to create another little bubble right there. All right. So let me see where it is. My step right here. So you can see this my step right here. So this is basically how you would create steps. Okay. And it's very simple, simple to actually uh, connect these. You just go ahead and click on this little uh, connect one and simply just click on it. And then that's going to connect it. But we need to create questions and conditions for it. Okay. So that's just giving you kind of an example of how you can link things together. But you basically click on add a step. So right here we have add a step. And right here, I'll click on this little pencil. So right here we have mobile or websites. Now we can basically say e-commerce or business, right? That'd probably make more sense, right? I mean, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to sound like you don't speak English that well to your customers because they're going to walk away, you know? They're going to say, ah, this is some foreign website. I don't know whose it is, whatever. Now, right here, you can see we have mobile, we have mobile app and website. So right here, I'll click on edit. And I think the most important part of this, guys, is you must upload an image. In fact, it will not even let you go to the next section without uploading an image. So you'll need to make sure you upload an, an image. So basically what you're doing right here is you're creating a choice. So you're saying, okay, do you want an e-commerce business or website, whatever? And then here would be your choices. So we have two different choices right here. All right. So right here, click on form builder and go back. All right. So we have two choices there. Now, basically saying that if they decide to pick something of those two, it's going to then link them to features right there. Or depending on what they answered, you know, it's going to bring them to this bubble. Now, what conditions does that mean? So how do we know which bubble they're going to? Well, when you connect it right there, you see this little pencil right here. This little pencil is basically going to say that if they answered, if they answered websites, then we're going to take them this route. They're going to go this way. They're going to go this way. So remember, this bubble saying, okay, there's there's the two options. Depending on what they answer, it's going to lead them to another way. So for example, right here on type of application, now we have e-commerce and business, right? So right here under this pencil, I'm going to say um, we have our, um, well, I, I did change it. So I should, I, we'll do it again, you know, but right here I put e-commerce or, or, or business and uh, generally I should have done both. But um, in this case, I just, I didn't save it. So here I'll click on save. Now, basically saying that if they did the the website, it's going to go this one. If they did, or I'm sorry, the mobile, it's going to go to one or the other. So I'm just hoping you guys understand that. But don't worry, because we're going to make our own just in a bit. I just want to kind of give you all the feel and understanding of it. Um, then when, basically when you make another bubble, you would ask more questions and then so on and so forth. So now that you guys kind of understand a little bit about this plugin, let's go ahead and start from scratch and make our own. I mean, let's make our very own, damn it. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a nice form, all right? We're gonna have a really nice form. We're gonna make a lot of money. We're gonna scam people on the internet. I, I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll, we'll not yet, all right? Not yet. We can't do that yet. All right, we'll we'll save that for later, all right? So right here, I'll click on add a new form, and we're gonna go ahead and make our first form. So right here, click on add a new step. Very simple stuff. So add a step. All right, and we got our first bubble right here. All right, and I'm gonna click on this pencil. And we're going to ask them options. So what do you want to ask them? I'm going to ask them, okay, so I'm a, I'm a website company. Now, do they want business or e-commerce? Let's do that one because there's a big difference between business and e-commerce. So right here, I'll put business. And right here under image, I'll click on image. And then I'll go ahead and go to media library. And I'll select, uh, we'll select, uh, we got this one. We'll select this one right here. There we go. Show it. Now this is kind of old school, but it's going to say insert into post. And that's what you need to click on insert into post. All right. And we can actually tint the image. So when you tint the image, that's actually going to change it to the default color scheme of whatever one you put in the general settings. Remember the general settings earlier, how there was the colors. If you put tint image, it's going to go to that specific color, but I don't want that. I, I like this image, you know, and if you need images, go to flaticon.com. There's free images you can download. I'll put that link in below. The size you want to get is 512 by 512. So I'll put all of that in the description below. I'll give you the website. It's free. Everyone loves free except for the plugin. It costs money, but that's okay. All right. And then right here, you know, display price and title. Um, now, how much does this cost? So I'm going to say this website's going to cost a thousand dollars. All right. Right here we have use calculation, but you know, I'm not going to do that because I'd rather tell them basically what I wanted to what I wanted to charge. This actually is a very advanced feature. And to be honest, I didn't really, I, I read it, but I was just like, 
basically for it's like a formula basically so you can see the plugin gets very advanced in fact that's too advanced for me I, i'm kind of you know i don't want to work that hard guys I'm, I'm a lazy ass i don't want to work that hard you know we're just a thousand bucks you know that's it that's all we're adding now let's go ahead and add in another one we'll add in one more right here and this will be e-commerce and i'll go ahead and upload an image actually, i actually already have these images here from url and i'll do the shopping one so show and then insert into post. All right, all right. Oh, that didn't upload. That was weird. Let's do that one more time. One more time, guys, all right? There we go. Let's see, insert into post. There we go, now it's there. We can tint the image. In fact, I will tint this image just to show you what tinting image is, okay? Now this right here is $2,000, you know? It's a little bit, little bit more expensive. All right, so we have business and we also have e-commerce. So my, so the title right here is gonna be what kind of website? Now, this also has conditional logic as well. And I did a tutorial on the Divi contact form that has conditional logic. And conditional logic is basically saying, um, I'm not going to go into it too much, but I'm just going to explain what conditional logic is. So, for example, if a user sets a specific section or a selection, so let's say, for instance, if they answer e commerce. And maybe you have another one with like five products, 10 products or 20 products. If they enter e-commerce and 10 products, then this only will show. You understand what I'm trying to get there? So uh, conditional logic means they must have, they must select specific options in order for that condition to show up. So uh, conditional logic guys, it, it's, it's not difficult. It's just very, it's very complex because there's so many different things you can add. So I do actually have a tutorial on the Divi contact form with conditional logic. If you do want to know more about conditional logic, you can read that tutorial below, but I don't really want to cover it too much because you don't really need it too much. I mean, somebody out there will need conditional logic guaranteed, but uh, I'm just not going to cover it in this video. Uh, so right here, what kind of websites and right here, I'll click on save. All right, that's it. That's it. We're done. So let's go ahead and click on X right here. All right, now let's click on add a new step. In fact, we'll make another one. We'll make two right here. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and take this thing right here and link it to this. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that one more time and link it to that. Now you see this pencil right here. So this pencil right here, I'm going to just click on add a condition. Now, if somebody entered business websites, I want them to go to this box right here. And then we're going to design this box. If somebody entered e-commerce, we're gonna click on this pencil, add a condition right here, e-commerce, save. If they selected e-commerce, I want them to go to this bubble right here, all right? And then from this one right here, we can make more conditions. So what would be something that you would ask somebody for e-commerce? Well, how many products do you have? That's, that's the big one. So how many products? And um, I'll click on save right here. Now we need to actually make some items right here. So right here, I'll put, you know, zero to 20, zero to 20. Here, um, you know, I should be selecting something a little bit, uh, something more professional, but for this video, I'm just gonna select this one for all three. But you might wanna actually get like the actual image. Sometimes it does that. Sometimes it doesn't really upload like that. Here, let's do it one more time here. Enter into post, there we go. So zero of 20. And uh, I'll tint the image, or actually, yeah, we'll tint it, we'll tint it. We'll, we'll make it the same color. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about just a bit. Now, add a new item. And then right here, I'll put 21 to 50. And right here, I'll click on upload an image. Okay, there we, there we go. And I will insert this in a post. Now, one thing I forgot to do, stupid me, is to add a price. So. Let's say, for instance, it's 20 to 50 products. We're going to say, you know, that's an additional $500, you know. So right here, I'll click on save. This one right here as well. I'll go ahead and select, uh, we'll just say it's 200 bucks, $200. All right, and one more right here. And then right here will be 51 to 100 products. And right here, I'll click on upload an image. And uh, right here, I will click on this and insert into post. You guys gotta do it twice sometimes. Sometimes the, the plugin's funny and it doesn't, uh, there we go. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of weird. Sometimes it's, it's kind of weird there sometimes. All right, so now basically saying that um, if they select e-commerce and uh, once they go to e-commerce, it's going to ask them how many products. So 
Uh, now that we've done that, uh, we, we need to select this one right here as well. But tell you what, let's go ahead and view the form really quick to see our progress and see where we're all at right here. So here, click on view the form. So how much to make my website? Get started. What kind of website? Well, we have business and we have e-commerce. This right here is not tinted, okay? This right here is tinted. And when you have the tinted option, it's going to change the icons to the default color that you set in the general options, okay? Now we selected e-commerce, right? And remember how we have multiple products. So right here, I'll click on next step and we have three different products right here. So we have zero to 20, 21 to 50, and 51 to 100. Now, if I select this one right here, you can see the price goes up because remember we added $200 for that one. Over here, we added 500. This one right here, we didn't add any. So there is nothing there. Now, right here, you kind of see that after that, we click on next step and it basically just leads us to the end. So if we don't add any future conditions, the plugin will just say, okay, you've basically done everything. Here's the default. Right here, we have an email message and we can actually click on order my website. Now, we did this option right here because we actually in, we included PayPal. Now, if you disable all of the payment, um, the payment gateways, it will just basically give them an email and you an email as well. So now that we've actually done that, you kind of understand how this works, right? So now over here, you would simply just go ahead and put in something like, um, okay, business. So uh, we can ask them uh, for business websites. Let me think here. You know, how can how can we make how can we get more money out of people? You know, how what, what's the what's the way we can get more money out of people? Let's see with a business website. You know, guys. Also, never tell people what's your budget. That is the most unprofessional, rudest thing people ask in web design. What's your budget? It's like ten dollars, dude. Not what ten dollars. You've kind of put yourself in a bad spot. Anyways, uh, right here I'll put um, uh, business corporate or enterprise. You know, corp. Yeah, that, that's the good one. Corporate. What kind of website? What kind of business? What kind of business? Sorry, sorry. What kind of business here? All right, and then we can add different options right here. So we can add something like um, basic. Maybe even put packages. You know, like packages and. You know the the, the silver, all, all the BS. You guys know what I'm talking about. All the BS. The the the, the this is the the basic, the silver, and the enterprise, and etc. And it's like whatever you know. <laughs> so here I'll put like two hundred dollars. Okay, and I'll click on there we go. And over here we'll do a new one, and then we'll put like a basic, premium, And then maybe the next one we can do is we can do like enterprise or something like that. Uh, here, I'll click on this one and enter this into the post. And this one will be $500. And I guess over there you can talk about in the, in the, in the description, you can talk about the number of pages that they get with this. And then right here, I'll do like enterprise. And you know what I notice? You know, maybe we can add conditional logic here, you know, because uh, when I see people talk about enterprise on websites and then they click on enterprise, you know what it usually does? It says call us. So maybe we can just, you know, add conditional logic to say that if they select those options and they select enterprise, then they'll need to call us. All right. So right there, we got what kind of websites. All right. And I'll click on X right here. All right, so I mean, basically this right here, I mean, this form can keep going. You understand now that we've done that. Now, when I talk about the general settings for tint over here in design, main color, okay? That's where it's at, all right? Now, we have these two bubbles right here, and I mean, we're pretty much done here. I mean, all we need to do now is include a payment gateway. You know, we can use a subscription as well, um, whatever you wanna do over here under the um, under the text. We can change all this text to, you know, whatever we want to do. Um, you know, these options right here are, are, are pretty pretty basic, pretty self-explanatory. Um, but over here, we can say, uh, we can add one more really quick. So I'm gonna add one more really quickly right here and just kind of, just kind of um, give you an idea of conditional logic just because I don't want to leave you hanging. You know, I really don't want to leave you hanging. Um, right here, I'll click on this icon and I will show this under certain conditions. And this is going to be enterprise. All right, enterprise. Now, I wanna show this under certain conditions. So right here, I'll click on add a condition. Now, if they selected the enterprise, if enterprise is selected, then I want this to show up. So basically saying that generally, the other ones are gonna take them to the contact form, but this one right here is going to say something else like call us. 
I mean, I, I really, I mean, uh, this is a very bad example. I mean, uh, call us would not make any sense. Look at that, I have to upload it twice every single time. That's so annoying. Tell the developer, you know, go email the developer, you know, and tell him that, uh, tell him that th that thing's not working well, you know. Uh, but right here, I'll click on save. So basically saying that if somebody selects e-commerce and they select the enterprise, then this bubble will show. So we want to show it depending on conditions right here. I'll go ahead and select that really quickly. Enterprise and then save that. Okay. So that's just basically what conditional logic is. So from these options, if they select anything else but enterprise, the contact form ends, it goes to the end of the, the form, okay? So that's basically what conditional logic is, okay, in, in a nutshell. So now that we've talked about this, let's talk about the other features. You know, right here we can do view orders, view statistics. You can kind of read, um, you know, the amount of orders that we get through the form. And a really cool thing I like about this plugin as well is that you can actually see the progress of the actual uh, the way that people are uh, maneuvering the form, and I believe it's over here. Well, that's the calendars. Uh, it is. It is somewhere here. It is. Let me see right here. Oh, it's right here. So we made this new form right here, and right here we can actually. Where is it? View the statistics. Is that what it is? View orders. It was here somewhere. I, I, I did see it earlier. I did see the uh, the section on basically saying like, you know, how far do they get? So I did see that somewhere. But, you know, that probably is somewhere in the options. Oh, maybe maybe that was another plugin. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, let's talk about the uh, the form designer. So we made the form. Now let's go to the form designer. And this is where you can kind of design the form to kind of make it look how you want it to look. So right here, you know, how much to make a website. And uh, right here, we'll click on this right here and select an element. So let's say I want to go ahead and change this right here. So right here, we can go ahead and change this to basically, you know, there's different options right here. There's the background, there's the borders, uh, there's the border radius. You see right here how the border is getting smaller. Um, you know, I, I don't want to go too much into this, guys, because uh, this right here is basically just saying, like, you know, how to change the border color, how to add margin and padding how to do position, ooh, float, what's that? Uh, no, that's not good, we'll leave it to none, we'll leave it to none. Um, the text right here, we can change the text font size right here. Uh, we can change the actual, the alignment, uh, the text color, we can add some text shadow to it, uh, position, margin and padding, the background, all this really cool stuff. Now, whenever you wanna go ahead and uh, change something else, you would simply just click on apply or whatever, and then you just go to the next one right here. So uh, select an element, and then we'll select this one right here. And then right here, again, same thing, styles. If you want to change the background color right here, we'll say, uh, I want this to be this color instead. Uh, scroll and visibility. So you guys kind of understand these options right here. Uh, this is basically how you would design the form. Okay, you'd click on it. You would design it to however color scheme that your site's matching. And then you would kind of have fun and then mess around with it and all that really cool stuff. All right. So right here, I'll click on save. And um, there's other options too. What's this one right here? Oh, the CSS code, reset styles, then return to form management. Let's go ahead and do that. So now that I actually have this form, let's go ahead and actually apply it. Let's actually see uh, this form in action right here. So really quickly right here under the text. So we have how much to make your websites, get started. We have all of this stuff right here that looks good to me. I think we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and add the short code to our website. So this right here is the short code. I'll copy it and we'll go to one of our pages right here. Let's go to one of our pages. We'll go to calculator right here. I'll edit with Elementor and I'll place that one in the um, the one that I had before. So all you need to do is go to text and then simply go ahead and paste it. And you can use any page builder for this. You can use Divi, you can use Elementor, you can use um, whatever, whatever uh, 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 visual composer. You can use visual composer as well uh, if you choose to use it. So now that I've done that, let's click on over here and click on view the page. Let's see how this looks now. So how much mu how much to make my website? Okay, maybe you would never want to say that, but that's something that you can put. Right here, I'll click on get started. What kind of websites? Well, we have a business and we have e-commerce. So let's click on business now. All right, a thousand bucks. Next step. What kind of business? We have basic, premium, and we have enterprise. Now let's click on premium really quickly. 
premium and go to next step. Now you can see right here, the form ends. So that's basically it. The form is over, it ends and that's all. Now right here, we'll go to click on previous step. Now I wanna actually click on enterprise right here. All right, so I'm gonna click on enterprise. And of course I should have edited this right here, but now you can see that we have conditional logic. So if they selected e-commerce and enterprise, then this option will display instead. And of course we should select something else, but here it just says, call us, you know, maybe, maybe we shouldn't put call us. We should have, you know, put a number, you know, made it more nice and friendly, but that's just an example of what you can do with this plugin. So, uh, you know, let's go back to the other one and check out the product. So maybe I changed my mind. I, I want an e-commerce website. You know, I want e-commerce. How many products? Uh, maybe I got 20 products. You know, I, I'm selling dog stuff, you know, and the final cost, $2,500. I'm sold. Go ahead and sign me up, email message, order my website done. And then you will both get emails as well. You will get an email notifying you of a new order and they will get a receipt notifying them saying, Hey, uh, someone or that uh, you did this form. Don't forget about it. Here's a here's what you wanted and everything just to remind them and everything. So uh, be sure to check that uh, plugin out. So hopefully by now you guys can add this to your website. Um, you know, it's a great plugin. It's very highly rated. In fact, it's one of the most popular plugins on Envato Market. It has tons of positive reviews. And you know, they do have other options like the uh, payment forms builder. I mean, they have a lot of other stuff you can do. The plugin is very powerful. And what I've showed you all it's just kind of the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot you can do. So uh, be sure to check out this plugin. And that's basically how you would add cost estimation to your WordPress website. And also be sure to give them a five star review and also leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of the plugin if you used it before and also make sure to like this video. All right, I will see you all in the next video.